good to see you. I miss you so, so much. I'm here at home and I know everyone else is at home, hopefully, doing lots of fun things with your family. We've been taking a lot of walks and taking the dog for walks and cooking and doing our schoolwork and a lot of reading and getting to watch some fun movies. So I hope you're doing the same thing with your families. And I thought today, I know Miss Samantha has been doing a lot of videos for you. And I know we've moved on to the letter T this week, right? Which is a fantastic letter. There's a lot of words that start with the letter T, like tickle and tiny and hmm, toad or truck or taste, taste. So there's a lot of words that start with the letter T. And this week I thought that I could read you some books that also have the letter T in them. And one of the books that immediately came to mind when I was thinking about what book I could read you is one of my favorites called The Giving Tree. Tree starts with the letter T. There it is. And this book is by Shel Silverstein. And this is one of my favorite books from when I was little. In fact, look, this is from my friend when I was little. So I've had this book for a long time. And it's one of my favorites to read to my kids. I hope you like it too. Once there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. There he is with his little leaves on his head. He would climb up her trunk. Trunk is this part of the tree. And guess what? It starts with the letter T too. So this is the part of the tree called the trunk. And swing from her branches. That looks like fun. And eat apples. Oh, it's an apple tree. And they would play hide and go seek. There he is. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. Aww, taking a nice nap. And the boy loved the tree. And giving each other a hug. Very much. And the tree was happy. Look, they even have their names on it. But time went by like it always does. And the boy grew older. And now he has another friend. And the tree was often alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and then you will be happy. So the tree is giving him all her apples. So the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. She was happy to give her friend something. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. 
I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. I want a wife and I want children, so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, and you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. So the boy cut off all her branches and carried them away to build his house. Do you think that made the tree happy or sad? The tree was happy. Again, she gave something to her friend and that made her happy. She liked being a good friend and giving her friend help. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm too old to play and sad. I want a boat that will take me far away. Can you give me a boat? Well, cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. Do you think the tree's happy now or sad? The tree was happy but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. Well, my teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. Well, I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. Even my trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. Well, I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I am sorry. Well, I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. Well, said the tree, sitting up straight as much as she could. Well, an old stump is a good place for sitting and resting. Come, sit down, boy. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. He's not such a little boy anymore, is he? And the tree was happy. The end. Wasn't that a sweet story? That's one of my favorite stories from when I was little. The giving tree. And tree starts with T. And there's another word in there that also started with T. Trunk. The trunk of a tree is the big part that holds it up, holds up all the branches. So next we're gonna do a giving tree craft. So come with me and we'll get set up. Okay, so we have all our materials, and now we're going to get going with our craft. So I'm here at my craft table. I like to do a lot of crafts at home. And I have our brown paper. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trace our hands. So we're going to put your hand down on the brown paper. And using a pencil, you're just going to trace your hand. So we're going to do that together. I'm going to put my hand down and my pencil on I'm gonna trace my hand and maybe mommy or daddy could help you trace your hand what do you think this part of our project is going to be can you guess let's see here's my hand I'm gonna cut it out so this is good practice using your scissors and again you may have to have Mommy or Daddy help you a little bit, but I bet you can do it. So I'm going to cut out my hands. And what do you think this is going to be? Let's see. It's brown. It's 
gonna be part of our tree. So the little fingers can be the branches and the arm part can be the trunk to make our tree, our giving tree. Here's my hand. This can be the trunk, and these can be the branches. Then we're going to take our green paper. And we're going to make our tree. So I'm going to just kind of make some half circles around the branches of our tree. And it can look however you want. You can make it a big fluffy tree, with big half circles, or a bunch of little half circles, all the way around. It's kind of gonna look like a cloud. Can you see? Okay, so now we're gonna cut out the top of our tree. making a big, kind of looks like a cloud with all the little bumps and squiggles. So there we go. And this can be the branches for the tree. So now I'm going to put some glue on my hand, just on the hand part. I'm going to get my glue stick and put some glue. Not too much, not too little. Just enough so it sticks paper to paper. So I put some glue on my hand. See the glue? And I'm going to stick it on to my tree. starting to look like a tree. Now I happen to have red tissue paper, so I'm gonna take little bits of my tissue paper and roll it up in a little ball, kind of smush it around. And if you have red paper or red circles, or you can even use a red crayon or marker, and we're gonna make some apples for our giving tree. So I'm gonna put a couple dots of glue, take some of my tissue paper, and stick it on. One apple. And another apple. Now this is our giving tree before she gives all her branches and her leaves and her apples to her friend. The Giving Tree is a good story to think about all the things that you can do for other people. And it's important to always say thank you too when someone gives you something. I think the little boy, he could have been a little bit nicer about thinking about his friend, but his friend was happy to think about him. So, This is the beginning of mine. I'm almost done with my apples. And then what I thought we could do is we could make it the giving tree. And we could put some of the things that we would like to give to others, especially right now when we're home. There's a lot of things that we could do for our family, like help mom and dad make the beds in the morning or give our dog an extra walk, or 
give our sister our favorite toy. Things like that could really make all this time at home go really, really well. And we could learn a lot from the giving tree. She was happy to give some of her favorite things to her friend. So thanks so much for coming today and listening to the story and doing our craft together. I hope you had just as much fun as I did. And I can't wait to see you on Thursday when I'll be back for another book and another craft. So thanks again. I miss you everybody and I will see you soon.